Hi there, my name is Josh Delcourt. I'm a science teacher here at Thornton Academy and I teach an elective science class called Trees in the Main Forest, offered in the springtime. Uh, you may notice some changes when you come back to campus this fall, including uh, the loss of a few of our trees, including this one, uh, commonly called the big tree by TA alumni and, and students alike. Uh, this was a native white ash, Fraxinus americana, uh, and you'll notice all around town in southern Maine um, that we are losing ash trees at a rapid rate, and that is due to an invasive insect called the emerald ash borer that arrived from Asia to central United States uh, 20 years ago or so and has recently arrived to Maine and it, it, uh, it rapidly kills ash trees and that is what happened to our, our big tree here. People may wonder just how old this tree was. We can tell by counting uh, annual rings in, the, in this tree. In temperate climates like we have here in Maine, trees grow in bursts annually. By counting rings on the big tree, we know that it's somewhere between 120 and 130 years old and was uh, probably found here naturally in a hay field when the main building was built originally. So in an effort to replace the big tree and others that we've lost on campus, uh, we've begun planting new trees. Uh, just last week we planted 13 new trees on campus and there will be more coming. We planted six different all native species including this one, uh, the black tupelo, Nyssa sylvatica. Nyssa sylvatica is native to Maine but it's at the far northern edge of its range here in Maine. It's found in uh, Ferry Beach State Park as well as the Saco Heath and uh, it's known for its beautiful fall color which it's beginning to show now, it changes over early. Uh, and This is a super valuable tree for wildlife. It produces a, a small berry called a droop that birds really enjoy. Uh, so we, we selected these three trees for the quad uh, because they, they will get nice and big in the future. And uh, they're one of the longest living deciduous trees in the east. They can live over 500 years. This could be a pretty awesome looking quad right here. One of the coolest parts about planting new trees is thinking about what they'll look like in the future. We hope you enjoy uh, the, the changes to campus and the replacement of, of our lost trees. And uh, it's exciting to know that some of these new trees going in the ground may someday be the big tree for future Thornton Academy students.